In the video dedicated to the AM9 Sidewinder, I mentioned the Rollerons, and I wonder if anyone knew how, who conceived the idea first. Let's see a clip from the video. Everybody forgets an even more impressive stroke of genius. This. Everything that flies needs to be stabilized in a roll, and this is even more true for a rotationally symmetrical missile, um, because the seeker is actually rotating, so it is imparting a momentum to the airframe in a way which is not dissimilar to what a propeller does to a propeller airplane. This is normally a job for the autopilot. The autopilot uses the aerodynamic surfaces to avoid any uncontrolled rolling in the air. However, with the analog electronics of the time, well, the simpler the autopilot is, well, the better it is. So, someone who I believe was a true genius came up with the idea of actually embedding some aerodynamically spun wheels in the trailing edge of the rear empennage. These wheels, once spun, they act as gyroscopes. They exert a force every time the orientation of their spin axis in the space changes. This force that they exert rotates a part of the rear empennage, which is called the roller one, and it rotates in a way to contrast any roll, either clockwise or counterclockwise. If you look closely, there are also two winglets to divert the airflow onto the wheel and improve the capture section. This was a truly brilliant innovation. I was unable to locate the name of the first person who came up with this idea, but if anybody among you knows, please let me know, because it is a name that needs to be celebrated. So, since I was asking a question, a few days ago I got this comment to the video. Well, it is an excellent book, and the story seems definitely credible. Then later, I got another comment. This seems pretty authoritative. I checked the patents, and they indeed describe the Rollerons, and the name on the patent is Sidney Crockett. So, case closed. Do we have found the genius involved in the creation of the Rollerons? Well, a month ago, this other comment appeared. I asked Sean to come back to me to better understand the point, but I had, unfortunately, no answer. Iron Neutronic did exist, and it worked on the Sidewinder, even if it seems that it was a late, at a later time than the events we are concerned with. So this may be a mistake, just a misplaced memory, or maybe we are dealing with a person who worked on the roll runs, but did not actually invent them. If Sean is watching this and wants to contact me in the email in the about session to go deeper into this subject, I am definitely happy to listen and eventually change my mind. For now, however, I think we have the name of the genius we were looking for. His name was Sidney R. Crockett. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.